Now I have, I have a, I have a confession that everybody is not a Christian. The Bible say, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. All things become new. So if you're not new, you're not a Christian. If they don't change, you're not a Christian. If you stay the same, you are not a Christian. A Christian is not just a person that go to church. A Christian is not a person, glory to God, that you're doing all the good and you have no confession and profession about Jesus Christ. So how do I know or you know that you are a Christian or not? Two things. Change or stay the same. Now, change got 16, 16 letters in it. And I'd like to break down those letters. C-H-A-N-G-E, change, or stay the same, S-A-M-E. So of those of those letters, letters got a meaning. Change means something. Change means newness. Amen. A person that's cussed don't cuss no more. A person that drink don't drink no more. A person that club don't club no more. Amen. A person that has a nasty attitude. The Bible says you, you both have a beautiful attitude. Hey, glory to God. Amen. So if you are, if you call yourself a Christian and there's no, no change, you are not a Christian. Hey, glory to God. Because Christian mean change. Christian mean Christ. If any man be in Christ, be in Christ. Let's say be in a church, be in a church building. And a lot of you all, y'all in a church building and not in Christ. People in the church building, they can drink, they can smoke, they can cuss you all. They're ready to fight you after church. They tell you, this is my seat for 20 years. Hey, glory to God, a man come in, smell like a, smell like, smell like a drunk. They put him in the back seat. The usher tell him that you can't go up front. Why not? Why the man can't go up front? This is the house of prayer. This ain't no, this ain't no fashion show. Hey, you worrying about what he smelled like. Hey, glory to God. It's not about his, how he smelled like. It's what happened when after he accepted Jesus Christ. Amen. So, so how do I know I am saved? Hey, glory to God. Or not. Because a lot of people, glory to God, some people that think they're going to heaven, they go straight to hell. Hey, glory to God. Because hell is waiting for people that have been pretending for 20 years. Where's the change? Hallelujah. You ought to be. The Bible said, let the wheat and tear grow together and I will do separate. The Bible say that. So, so change got six letters in it. The first one, I'm converted. Hallelujah. I'm converted. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. If you are a Christian, you ought to be converted. Number two. The second one is, is H. I'm holy. Holy means separate. Hey, glory to God. For service. Hallelujah. Number three, I am anointed, anointed to do God's service. Hey, glory to God. So, so C-H-A-N, hey, glory, to, and I'm normal. I'm special. Hey, glory to God. Not special aid, but I'm special. I'm a jewel in God's eyesight. Hey, glory to God. Hey, glory to God. And the G, I have the gift, the gift of the Holy Ghost. Any Christian, if you are Christian, you want to have the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost come with nine fruit. In Galatians, glory to God, uh, our fifth chapter, verse 22 and 23, read it on your spirit time. Hey, glory to God. Number six, I have eternal life. Hey, glory to God. I have everlasting life. I have a life insurance now. The life insurance is not on earth. The life insurance is when God give me. Hey, glory to God. I have eternal life. The Bible says, For God so loved the word that he gave his only begotten son, whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Hey, glory to God. Now, that's a Christian. For a person that stay the same, hey, glory to God. What is same? Same mean you're a sinner. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. The A mean you have no acknowledgement, no confession. Hey, glory to God. And, and, and the M mean that you are mean and nasty. Money is holding you back. Material things holding you back. Hey, glory to God. And and the and the 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 the, the E. You have exit. You have entrance into where? Into hell. What I'm saying to you is watching my video, my friend. Hey, glory to God. I want to tell you the truth, so help me God. 
because no, your past is not going to tell you. If you're on the Joe Osteen, if you're on the TD Jakes, if you're on the, all these 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 Hollywood these the Hollywood preachers or celebrity preachers, my friend, Hallelujah, they're not going to tell you. Glory to God that when you become a Christian, you are changed. You change on the internal and the external. A lot of people have the external changing. Hey, glory to God, and don't have the internal changing. You can you can look like a saint, but deep down you're still cussing. You can look like a, a saint. You you're still drinking behind closed door, and you're still whoring behind behind closed door. But if you're a Christian, my friend, and you ain't gotta open your mouth. You come out. You become a walking Bible. You become a living epistle. So if people don't read the Bible, they can read you. Because you got love, you got joy, you got peace, you got long suffering. All those things are you because you are a Christian. You are new. You have a new conversation. You don't you don't talk like the world anymore. You talk like becoming saint. You have mercy. Hey, glory to God. About the judgment of mercy that has shown no mercy. And mercy rejoice over judgment. If you are a Christian, you ain't, you ain't quick to judge people because you forget where you came from. You forget you you the way you, you was a sinner. Glory to God, saved by grace. But Christian don't judge. We judge, but we encourage. We don't judge to condemn people to hell. That's not our job. Our job is to lift Jesus up. Let Jesus Christ do the correcting. Let Jesus Christ do the taking off. We don't take people clothes off. We don't say you don't supposed to wear that. You don't supposed to be that. No, let the word of God give them the word of God. The problem is in the church nowadays. People not giving what thus say the Lord. They give you opinion. They're opinionated. They like to say how long or to be to to opinion. If the Lord be God's servant, and the Bible say the people answer not a word. So a lot of people they go to God. They they don't come to church no more because they. You are too worldly. Glory to God. You are too hypocritical. You one way out in the church. You are one way out in the street. But when you're in the church, you, you you put on. You can't put on or put off, because the Holy Ghost is not a take off or put on. The Holy Ghost is a come on. Hey, glory to God. The Bible says the wind blows where it listed, and thou can tell where it's going or coming. So it's everyone is born. Of the spirit. So if you're born of the spirit, you can't take the Holy Ghost off. You can't say, I'm going to give a piece of, a piece of peace of my mind. My friend, I need my whole mind. The Bible said, let this mind be in you, which was in Christ Jesus. So a lot of people, they say, that I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a give a peace of my mind. My friend, my friend, my mind. The Bible said, let their mind stay, let their mind be in me, which was in Christ Jesus. So I'm saying to you is watching my friend. How do you know that you are a Christian? You are a Christian because you're not worldly. You're a Christian, you're not secularism. You're a Christian, my friend, you don't bow to Satan. You put Satan in his place. You rebuke the devil and you'll flee from you. Join not to God and God will join not to you. Oh, hallelujah, glory to God. So the Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he didn't say if any man be in church building, if any man sing on the choir, if any man the usher, if any man a trustee, if any man being Christ is a new creature, all things are passed away, all things become new. So if they don't change in your life, you're not a Christian. You've been you've been saved for twenty years and you're still cussing. You've been saved for twenty years, glory to you still drinking. You've been saved for twenty years and still clubbing. You've been saved for twenty years, still shacking. You've been saved for tw twenty years and still glory. You still got a bed. You still got a the bottle on your bed. Amen. If any man be in Christ, hey, glory to God, he's a new creature. And do and come on now, it's not gonna be overnight. Amen. Amen. You, but if you've been saved for 20 years and they don't change in you, you need to go back to the altar. If you telling me, please pray for me so I can love this person. No, you need to go. You need to go back and get God because God is love. The Bible say, the Bible say, this is the Bible say, though I speak with tongues of men and have not charity, I become a sounding brass and a timbling symbol. Hallelujah. So, so people that say they have love and you ain't showing it. The Bible says, let's not, 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 let's not let word, love in word, nor tongue, but in truth and in deed. A lot of you all say I love, but if you see somebody need, my friend, don't pray. Give them what they need and give the best. Don't give what you, don't give them the leftover. Give them the best. God gave us the best. That, that was Jesus Christ. 
So if you don't give somebody, give somebody the best. Don't give somebody tear up clothes and tear up shoes. Give them the best. I remember a time, glory to God, I need a transportation. And this person gave me a transportation, my friend. The 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 car, the car sound when I drive my car in the neighborhood, the whole neighborhood, the alarm on each person's cars was going off. Hallelujah. I told her, I told her, brother, no thank you. You can keep your car. If you can give somebody a car, give them the best. Don't give them something, glory to God, that they gotta they gotta constantly glory to God wait for them to start the car up and all that. No, give them the best. If you're a Christian, you have mercy. If you're a Christian, you have grace. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But some Christians are mean. They're nasty. How can you be a Christian be a you mean and nasty? And you got nerve to sing on a choir. You got nerve to be an usher. You got nerve to be a trustee. No, you ought to go back to the altar. If you do God's service, you ought to be nice. Hey, glory to God. Come on. How do I know that I'm a Christian? Because Christians are different. The Bible says, let your light shine. that may may see a good work and glory Father, Father in heaven. Jesus Christ said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I draw all men unto him. The problem is we lifting ourselves up. We ought to be lifting Jesus up. The Bible says, he that with his soul is wise. The reason why you can't join about it, because y'all nasty. You got a nasty attitude. What about a beauty, the attitude, the beautiful attitude? You've been saved for 20 years and, and still you nasty. You got a nasty attitude. Got a nerd sing on the choir. Got a nerd to be an usher. Got a nerd to be a trustee. Hey, glory to God. One trustee told me I was staying in the basement. They say that my niece can go, but you, my niece can, can, can stay, but you go. A trustee. Hey, glory to a trustee say that to me. He say that I can go because I found him cheating. Glory to God uh, on, on, on electricity. They were taking my electricity. My kids was freezing downstairs. We have to hide. We have to hide a heater to warm our kids up because my friend, they was, they was, they was consuming or saving on the heat. When they found out, glory to God, he stated, a trustee say that you can go, Mac, but my niece can stay. And supposed to be a trustee, a deacon. You supposed to be next to the pastor. Amen, glory to God. Am I a Christian? Christian, people that say they're Christian, my friend, if that if that if that is Christianity, I see the reason why I see the reason why the church growth, the church you you tend, they know church growth there. Your family go there. That's all go there is your family members. And no people in the neighborhood goes there. Why? Because you are people that's they're nasty. Hey, man, we supposed to have a beautiful attitude. Leave your attitude at the door. Oh. Amen. <laughs> Leave your attitude. If you represent, the Bible say, <laughs> listen to what the Bible say, my friend. By this shall all men know that you are my disciples if you have L-O-V-E, love one toward another. Love. Where's the love at? Love is not sex. Love is not conditioned. Love is unconditional. How oh, glory to God. You supposed to be a Christian and you're still holding grudges. You supposed to be a Christian and you 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 can't forgive and forget. You're holding grudges for 20, 30 years. Amen. It's certain people I don't want to be around because the Bible says, glory to God, you don't sit and see the scornful. How do I know I am a Christian? Hey, glory to God. A lot of people need to hear this message because I'm not perfect. But I'm saying that if you're a Christian, you've been saved for 20, 30 years, you ought to have some change in your life. If you're not changed, you're a carnal Christian. If you're not changed, my friend, you didn't you didn't go all the way to Jesus. You went halfway. You are lukewarm. And God will say, I'm going to spit you out of my mouth. You got a church of Laodicea. Lay back and you sin. You lay back in your sin. And you think you're supposed to be, to be saved. You ain't saved. Glory, lay to see. I mean, lay back and sin. Hey, glory to God. Amen. How do I know I'm a Christian? You ought to have some changes in your life. You ought to, you ought to be, you ought to, the Bible said, be angry and sin not. Some of y'all angry, but ready to fight. 
Y'all angry, start cussing. Your anger, start swearing. You, uh, come on. The Bible said, be angry and sin not. Let the sun go down on your wrath. <laughs>